What is going on? It's your boy Warner Brother, and we are back with some more Nefus B No Minute No Limits, excuse me, episode 357 for day one of Drift Macabre. Let's get into it. So, again, as I mentioned in the last episode, I'm going to start this event, but I'm not going to finish this one. This one, I have no plans on trying to get this particular car it's a nice car but i'm not gonna go for it what i am gonna go for on the other hand about time you picked up finally got my hands on that custom demon we were talking about a while back damn thing costs a fortune but i make good on my investments come on down to the docks if you're interested in seeing how it performs if you can keep up that is all right so here it is the Hennessy Exorcist Camaro ZL1. I will say this. Even though I lost my voice, I do like how I be doing my announcements with my damaged voice. Now, again, I have no plans on catching this car. However, if we do make it through day six, we get the car. As a, in this two-star form. So that'd be something I could try to go for. So, let's briefly hop into the Drift Macabre store. We need to try to get a Nitro segment before it ends in a seven and a half minutes. So, day one autonomy. And we're only one performance rating away from being able to unlock the final event. So, first race is a time trial. I will cut my mic so we can actually enjoy the sounds of this Extra 6 Camaro. It's another fine Blackridge day as the exorcist cruises down the street. The demon should be a fitting opponent, so long as it doesn't break down or something. I think I know what I'm about to go up against. Because she mentioned a custom demon, so I'm thinking it's the demon revenant. But, uh, for the most part, that's just, you know, I, that's just what I'm feeling. In the meantime, though, I will say this. This thing sounds fan flipping tastic. So, Nitro Rush Race. Let's dive straight into it. Here we go. So background video of the day is uh, another one of my videos. Careful, damn it. Sorry, boss. Now, let's get this demon unleashed, shall we? Open the container. Well, I can't wait to battle against it in a Camaro. Oh, boy. This thing is quick. Ooh. That wall came up quick. Big air across the line. Would have been faster had I not hit that wall pretty damn hard, but 
still managed to pull it out the bag, which is the main thing. And under 30 seconds, that was good. Round in the corner to where Javi and the others are waiting. You catch yourself as you see the destruction. Someone get that fire out. Dylan, where's my car? It uh seems to have a mind of its own. Trying to keep up with it as best as we can. Wonderful. The hell happened? This ought to be an interesting storyline. I wish that I had the funds to be able to basically finish it. So I could see what ha exactly all happened. Because this seems like a very interesting storyline that I would love to dive a little bit deeper into. But that's going to be one thing that I'm just not going to be able to do here. In the meantime, though, let's just get driving. You, with me. Time to put that exorcist to good use. I mean, it makes sense. In order to get rid of a demon, you gotta exercise it. So yeah, it would be putting the exorcist to good use. Time to exercise a demon. Can't even get a car unloaded without something exploding. The damn thing didn't even have a driver in it. We're getting close. Well, let's find out what's going on then. I feel like someone probably hacked into it. And is remote controlling it. Boom, we got that nitro segment at least. You know, it's fairly cheap just to get materials. I kind of want to give it a shot, but I know we still have to do that demon. Not the remnant demon, the, the normal demon. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Dodge Demon Revenant. I figured. That is exactly what I figured. Pull over. You're putting others at risk. Ahead you can see the demon tearing through traffic. The exhaust flaming behind. Forget the cops. Just take that thing out. Can do. That's one way to do it. Just just throw a few dead cops into it. Uh oh. Well, that didn't work. Wow. Crashing to one too many cops and it killed my race. I got money off of that, though. I'll take it. <laughs> uh, I'm not really even complaining about it. Let's see if we can pull off the same thing as far as taking out the cops early. Probably not, but we'll give it a shot anyways. So that did work. I can actually. Now that worked. That worked. That worked quite well, actually. Ah. That's what you get. Oh. 
All right, now is a good time to go ahead and add these materials into the car, get it up to snuff, all that good jazz. And let's check out the store while we're at it. Okay, so nothing really to go for. I could go for some of the components, but that would be kind of sort of a waste of my money. So let's just focus on what we can for the time being. Add in these motor materials, the motor segments. No, it's going to take some time to upgrade, huh? All right, well, there we actually got it. So this car is going to be hard to upgrade in the long run. So we got to really kind of sort of grind for this one. And we're not going to have a lot of time to do so either. All right, well, that's good for now. Finally, an airborne race. We literally have one of each. We have one of all the five main race types. Last one's an airborne race, okay. This thing ain't making it easy. Take it down, but try to avoid scratching the paint. That costs a fortune. That's going to be easier said than done, but we'll get it done. Starting to think that car is actually possessed. That was super close to that pillar. This thing is a damn rocket. And across the line. Well under 30 seconds. That is how you do it. Tearing forward, you manage to pull up alongside the demon to see there is no driver inside. With a sudden burst of speed, it roars away with a burst of fire in its wake. Nothing's ever easy, is it? Yeah, well, it is what it is, uh, I guess. So that's day one of Drift Macabre complete. Yeah, I do want to try to complete day six. If anything, because that still guarantees us a car. And that's the thing that I like the most. I'm guaranteed to still get a car. Yeah, let's go for it. But I think also because I got so many blueprints for this car already, even though I don't have the car. And I think that's the reason why I'm kind of sort of guaranteed it. But it is what it is. So that will wrap it up for this episode of Need for Speed No Limits. Tune in next time for episode 358 for day two of the Drift Macabre live event. Let's get uh, like and subscribe for more content. Also for motorsports and gaming content. I will leave links to different channels in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining. Much love, much appreciation. It's your boy Warner Brother. And I'm out. Peace.